all right my friends so it's time for us to focus on these buttons and let's go ahead and identify what we want to do so the first thing first we want to change the colors get rid of these underlines and also apply some background colors right so what I will do first of all I'm gonna use the common class okay why is that because first of all these two items or these two buttons should be or we want to get rid of the underline so that's why instead of applying the text decoration property the text decoration property essentially it is going to get rid of the underline okay so we can assign the value none to be none okay and we can re reset it back to be underline if you like these uh, underlines okay but in our case we are not interested in add any underlines okay and that's that's it okay so maybe we it is a good benefit for us to use one class instead of applying this property twice and i'm going to show you in a second another property that we are going to need it however i'm i'm going to target each one now uh, individually and apply for example the color here for the first one should be black okay and we also we need some border to be one pixel solid and also black if you take a look on uh, maybe I have missed spell the button or the class it is okay I need to change the class here to be B btn hyphen login okay so now it is the class name that I have already used it so going back here to our CSS file now what I will do I will target my second button so I'm gonna type btn hyphen sign up okay which is the second button I'm gonna apply background color to be black and the color here should be white all right and as you can see we have it right here now you may be noticed a problem both of these buttons should have padding padding it is the internal space for an HTML tag margin it's the external space and padding it is the internal space for an HTML tag in this case we want to push the content inside the tag away from its borders so that's why we can apply padding so both of these buttons require padding so instead of applying padding right here and padding right here we can apply padding in one place using using this btn class so i'm gonna apply padding and here i'm gonna apply maybe four numbers okay this is just for beginners usually what i will what i do i will type for example 0.7 by one rim so the 0.7 right here will be applied on the top and bottom and the one rim right here will be applied on the left and right so this is like a shortcut for this one right here all right going back we can see it is now much nicer now another thing that you may be you may notice that we want to push the login button or add some space between these two buttons to do so i'm gonna target my login button and add a margin from the right because once again the margin it is the external space between two html tags and in this case i'm gonna target my login button type margin right to be one rem okay now once again one rem it is equal to 16 pixels these are just unit measures okay we can use both of these but once again the rem is more responsive it is more recommended to be used I, I just want to follow the best uh, practices guidelines okay don't use pixels okay pixels just not such a responsive thing to do okay that's why i'm gonna use the rim so as you can see ladies and gentlemen in this video we have designed our button and of course this is just a very 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 basic style we can do so much more than what we have did but once again i just want to focus on the javascript part so in the next video there are a lot of stuff that we are gonna do so see you in the next one